Pina Bullies. Yeah. Morning. <laughs> you? Um, yeah. We are more lady. How are you today, my dear? <laughs> that is a from yeah from the artist. It's a commission also. It's also this size. Yes, it's going to be 85 by 20. Um, my name is Neliswa Sikwela. I'm an artisan. I'm also a bead worker. My company, Kakambile, it's a big uh, artisan studio. We attend uh, international exhibitions now, and, and I know that at least now we're well known out there, so that's why we call ourselves Kakambile. We are shining. <laughs> I'm Valencia Kanku. I'm working as a studio manager. I do a artisan work. We work with different artists, uh, like the well-known ones, like uh, Lisa Hobler and uh, Marlies uh, Keith. Uh, they give us uh, artwork design, where we interpret what is happening to the painting, and uh, we are going to do it in beads. This one that I'm working with now, it's our own design, where we are telling a story of our own. The name of the the design, it's called um, Isisosa, which means it's the Thanksgiving. In December time, we will go to the holidays to our families in Eastern Cape, so we get together and we cook and it's the love in the family, we unite. That's why this one we call it Thanksgiving, to show that in December time, we unite as a family. Our aim is to make more work for others because there's a lot of people outside that were are struggling. Because sometimes you don't have money to buy bread at home and sometimes you are only three in the studio and it's quiet and it's stressing a lot. And then when we have uh, five works that are coming from Spear, it gives us a joy because the studio is full of people and it's very exciting. Our studio is in Cape Town. Uh, and it's next to the parliament and it's got a view of a table mountain. If you are doing something and it's really stressing us, you can stand in the window and look at the table mountain and then you, there's some ideas that are flowing. Uh, we are part of Union House and we are part of a Spear Arts Trust where they take uh, our big weights and sell them overseas internationally. Even now we are going to London is the support of them. I was very excited. My heart was boom, boom. <laughs> <laughs> because I never thought I can go there overseas. I was so excited. <laughs> I didn't sleep <laughs> for a week. Ah. I was so... <laughs> Sometimes I feel like crying. Sometimes yes. I feel like pinching myself. Yes. Art gives you experience that you won't believe because uh, I was dreaming one day that I will like to be on board on an aeroplane to go overseas. And that art did make that happen for me because I did go to overseas three times, four times. I can advertise my work more so that it's out there doing my own exhibition or maybe have a workshop group of youth uh, trying to train them how to do beads on board. And art make a lot of things in my family too. I started this uh, year 2004. My children are starting to go to school, but now they are university by this art. So the art is very important to us. <laughs>